spin on this. Artosis, get over here now. Because I need to use the restroom, Artosis. And Tasis will introduce the players. Not today. If you guys get a chance by one stream, you need to look at Nick's shirt. It's, okay. it's one of the best shirts I've ever seen in my entire life. Yeah, it's I'm a good... not even. It's actually for real. Yeah, it's a sick shirt. It's way way. up there. So, how's everyone doing? Really good. Yeah? I'm still salty. I lost. (laughs) Yeah? No, I understand. It's a tough pill to swallow losing to G5, I tell you. And then they just... They they throw you here. Yeah. So everyone can watch you. Hey, we've been... I kept having a seat warm for you, buddy. (laughs) (laughs) Dan and I have been here two days, man. Yeah. You lost later, so there's that, you know? Well, yeah. Yeah, you guys aren't really good though. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. We try though, you know. Yeah, mm-hmm. try. Yeah, it's it's very <laughs> best. So, what map is this? I can't tell if this is Outsider or this <laughs> is Fighting I knew Spirit. The second you said that, <laughs> <laughs> you would actually. I, I think. It, it, were you here yet, Noni? When he said that? No, no. He's like, oh yeah, the middle of this middle of Outsider is just. Do like it the middle later of though. Spirit. You're, you're like two more of those from getting Sean actually solved. No, I know. He, I saw the look in the eyes. <laughs> I, I, that's why I'm whispering it while he's in the bathroom. <laughs> you're gonna get email later of like yeah. how this is actually Outsider, just in Fighting Spirit form. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, everything. Think about our conversation earlier, Dan. Yeah. yeah. Is Nyokin going to do the same build? Nah. The bus? No, no. Command center? G5 won't lose to it twice. Even that last one. Oh, no. He's going to do the command center, yeah, probably. Yeah, with the bunker. But... That's what I mean. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He likes that right now a lot. Like, yeah. uh, especially against all of us who are kind of rusty, um, because it didn't exist yeah. back when we were playing. This expansion, really. Like, Protosses would punish you, generally. Uh, but now people figure out the build order completely, and like he never loses uh, to like early dragon pressure or anything with it. Well, so. he, he should have lost best Draco. Draco should have taken it down. Yes, yes, you pick are right the about SCVs, that. I agree with that. The bunker. Yeah. He uh, he screwed up. He actually missed a volley, and he would have killed that a bunker. bunch. He also like mega respected the bunker. The dragoon step forward, and four marines don't like drop a dragoon. No, all I know. Of a sudden. It, as soon as he had six dragoons there, he should just killed all the SCVs yeah. and laughed. But that's what's kind of fun about this tournament. Everyone's, you know, yeah. we're all fresh coming back to a game that we Except grew for up with. Right? Those cheating <laughs> bastards I played know, this yeah. for a week. Those tryhards, man. It's so crazy. December, says Nyoka. Yeah. yeah. Lizard and Red's gave played him heads 700 up, games. They? What's that? Lizard gave him heads up. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. right. <laughs> There'll be a tournament in August. <laughs> <laughs> for no money. Yes. Yeah. We'll get you back on the map. You must train and once Mon Dragon says no, you'll be invited. <laughs> <laughs> So, I was thinking about Here it. You guys had me on that yeah. reminiscing of the German scene. Remember Schnibbler? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Schnibbler was kind of a nice guy. Uh, there was a bunch of good German players. Yeah, there was there was quite a few good ones, but mostly they were just a country of DT droppers. <laughs> wow. <laughs> the, uh, I just remember every time we played Germany B, I got DT dropped to the point where I would just open with turrets. <laughs> You're shell shocked, man. Yeah. Oh, Gaston, by the way. Hmm. Yep. It's a okay. tad annoying. We'll slow down his factory a little bit, but Just will G5 try to punish? Yeah. Long distance mining of gas. It's good to see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you were lying, Legionnaire. Salt, man. That happens. It's, it, it's our pride is on the line. It's not about money. If it was about money, it would actually like hurt less no. in a way. Because I'm like, yeah, these guys, you know, they practice hard. They definitely deserve it. If you think um, about it, um, Australia is surrounded by an ocean. It's surrounded by salt, literally. That's true. Yeah. So salt and you maybe, right? Mm-hmm. I'm not salty at all. Actually, I I was. I was yeah, not you're totally not salty. <laughs> you should be really happy with your play. You managed to take down the mighty Artosis. So I mean, that's like, that's definitely something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was just hoping to get a single win, really. Yeah. Same that's all, all, that's yeah. all I was looking for. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. I, I care about you, so I, you know. Yeah. It was nice of you to throw the match for me, you know, yeah. to, to build my that way. It's I so tried cool. to make it look close, but I accidentally made it look not too close. Oh, and, okay. uh, yeah. Such a gentleman, though. I know. I'm a good guy. And now we begin this dance. Why not, though? If you're going to make him repair it, it costs money. Yeah. Pull the SCVs, cost more money. Well, this is, uh, you know, he ran the Dragoon ba- pass last time. 
could. Eh, no, I don't, I don't it. like it though. Well, it's just he knows there's two marines in the main, so this bunker only has like two marines probably. I think he should be attacking the SUVs though, right? If yeah. the bunkers, especially if it's half yeah. full, yeah. go after yeah. the SUVs. Step in and, and do volleys until they run. A good tactic once you get a, a good number of uh, dragoons is to get one zeal up. So the zeal up goes in, it takes all the fire, the dragoons take down all the SCVs. Mm -hmm. You do that once or twice, they've lost quite a few SCVs, and then you can just go for the bunker, because I think they're going for the SCVs again, because they start pulling them back. Yeah. G5 though, man, he's just going to do it again. Yeah, the three base, but he'll probably add the gates a bit quicker. Yeah. Like, he he's very aware that this is something that can happen, so... But does he actually add the barracks? I think he will. I'd be surprised if he got the academy this quick and isn't going to do it. He could also get an observer faster. Yeah. Which... So oh! Well, he well that'll scout too. He's That's a good answer though, scanned, right? Though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. If you land the good scarabs, it then becomes like two or three tanks and a couple of marines. Yeah. And you really... It's really hard for Terran to push across a map against a shuttle and a reaver and when, yeah. when it's small numbers of army, so... Mm. Oh, good point. You can delay even better with that, I guess. Yeah. Okay, he's not going for that. He just went for the quick scan. Yeah. I like, by the way, that he got the scan and scanned immediately. Because if I'm G5, I'm like, oh, it's very likely to be that bio play again. Yeah. And G5 is not taking his third. This is, like, actually good stuff for Naoken. G5 he's is, like, good. playing counter to the strategy Naoken used previously, and he's not doing it. He's playing the best of five. Yeah. Mind games, man. I think that's always been the place where foreigners have lacked, where Koreans are e excellent at. Yeah. Even our best non-Koreans, I think they their their strengths were not in playing to the best of the best of series, but but just you know the talent they had, the skill they had. I think so. Which which non-Korean that reached the top do you think played a best of series really yeah, well? Yeah, no, they, that's fair. I think. If you name Idra, I'm just gonna slap. Oh you. no. Well, actually, that's the one counter example to what you say is that. Everyone knew how to play a best of series against Idra. You do something that he will hate in game one and beat him, and then he's done. Yeah. I guess I should have specified. I was more talking about non-Koreans versus Koreans. Oh. Koreans are very good at this. Non-Koreans are not. Yeah, yeah. But you're right. People... I mean, the funny thing, too, was when Greg finally ascended to his, like, final form, even that didn't work anymore. Mm. He was starting to type GG and stuff like that. That's yeah. how confident he was. Yeah, that's how you knew you were screwed. In my TSL match against him in game one, that was my strat. So I went for a DT drop, and he actually went vulture drop in game one and beat me. Yeah. Hmm. That's. But that was, was the that command was center his, cancel. It was against you that was the command center later, cancel, though, right? Yeah. Later in the series, yeah. That's really That famous. was the ultimate game, guys. It, that is a true highlight of Foreigner StarCraft. Go, go. People Google remember that. it to this day. Yeah. A lot of people. I rewatched that in the last couple of years, actually. Well, that it's game. a four second game, so why not? Yeah, he lasted about a skew. And, uh, Less than skew. The CC <laughs> goes down way earlier than that. Yeah, yeah. Don't know about you guys, but I think that's game over. The shuttle? Yep. Yeah. You went way you too can, deep. Yeah. I don't, you you can think never he's lose just a straight dead? Yep. Well, if you just sit there and lose all your dragons, certainly, but... Well, in G5's defense, these dragoons are really weird, but he gets hit by the first one. That should have been the turn back point, I think, you're right? Yeah. He goes in deeper and then more dragons Yeah. I yep. mean, I get it. He's like, well, okay, he has one. That's weird, but surely he won't have two. Then there is the second one. You're like, oh, I'm dead. But G5, by the way, lives by the sword, dies by the sword. He's going to win off aggression and lose off aggression. That's how he plays. Yeah. I, he's one of these players that sometimes looks really fantastic, but sometimes looks Look, if, less if he's done some damage with the rebuff. Ooh! This is a very good engagement. Oh, yeah. if he had one more shot, it would have been huge, but yeah. he's still trading well. As well as he, he would can. have almost broken this if he had had one more Reaper shot. Yeah. Oh, that tank shot, though. God, I hate tanks. <laughs> <laughs> They're pretty good. They're, they're, they're so overpowered. Yeah. yeah, it's, yeah Blizzard, you should be changing that clear. stuff. The game would Take a look at be tanks. a lot better without yeah. some Take a look at tanks. Because then we could just watch ZVP all day, and that would be a lot of fun. I love tanks. I love the TVT matchup in Brutor. I love... Yeah. Mm. I like TVP as well. I like the almost dancing aspect in T vs P, yeah. where it's uh, dragoons, it zealots in. against yeah. tanks, vultures. What was the map? Heart Heartbreak Ridge. Oh, tanks God. on that map. Yeah. That's Whoa. 
whoa. Every turn, just laughably, like, went to three bases, walled in everything. I was like, all right, I'm going to get some tanks out. And I was over here like, okay. If he rebuilds a shuttle, it can be really effective now. Yeah. By the way, I like the dragoons that, that Nyokin, I mean, not the dragoons, the goliaths that Nyokin yeah. made. Yeah, that was interesting. Yeah. Like, that was, that was really good. We used to not see that really used even against Reaver play. Mm. But now that I see him doing it, I'm like, God, I wish I could regame Legionnaire. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting there trying to make turrets. I made a wraith in one of the games, and just like you fly around everything, I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> God. Now, it became quite common for Terrans to just go one Goliath, so they yeah. could uh, just try and target down the shuttle mm. whenever it turns up. Yeah, I like that. Nike is playing well, though. Oh, he's, he really yeah. is. he's on top of it. He's been talking a lot about the the big hype match, too. If both of these guys win, it'll be Nyokin versus Red. And uh, they play a lot. They actually practice with each they other do. to get ready for this. I, I was actually talking to uh, Rhett earlier on. Uh, and he was saying, Nyokin was saying he was going 40% against Rhett in practice. Rhett said that he won the last 10 games. He's freaking... That, that, that needs to go, by the way. This, like, second emergence of Foreigner Brood War. <laughs> Speaking of Mondragon, the absolute worst offender in the history of competitive For gaming. For Saying that Mondragon. Mondragon. Oh, he's Mondragon. always talking about it. He's not practicing. He doesn't really oh, care. Yeah. And then someone who's a practice partner would be like, uh, no, he, I think he's actually at unhealthy levels of practice right now. We're <laughs> like... So he's just putting it out there, like, guys, don't expect anything from me. Yeah. Meanwhile, his hand's hurting from how much practice he's been doing. It's like, what? Yeah. There you go. Nyokin was doing really good mind killing there. Yeah, he 